Good day. Today we're going to look at an ellipse. We have the equation in front of us, 9x squared minus 36x plus 27y squared plus 150y plus 36 equals 0. This is the, stat this is the general equation form of an ellipse. Note the 9x squared and the plus 25y squared indicate this is an ellipse. The first thing we're going to do is to group all the x terms together and all the y terms together and any single number bring to the other side. So here we go, 9x squared minus 36x plus 25y squared plus 150y, bring it across, becomes minus 36. Now we look and see, I have a number in front of my x squared. I have to factor that out of both x terms. I have a number for my y squared. I need to factor that out in both of my terms. Take it to 9. We have 9. We have x squared minus 4x. Take it to 25. y squared plus 6y equals minus 36. We now are ready to complete the square. You have to be very careful to clean the square because we have a term in front of my bracket. So the first thing we're going to do is take half of my b term. When I say the b term, this is my b term here, negative 4. Half of negative 4 is negative 2 squared, and we say plus 4. Now, we have changed our equation, and we'll come back to talk about that in a second. Here we have the y, so we have 25, y squared plus 6y. Half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9. Again, I've changed my equation. How have I changed my equation? 9 times 4 has been added to the left-hand side. So 9 times 4 is 36. I have to add 36 to this side. Here I've added 25 times 9, which is 225 on the left-hand side, so I have to add 225 here as well. Now, because this is a perfect square, we know that this term right here will always generate a perfect square. You bring the x term down, half of your b term, which is minus 2, and it's all squared. Do the exact same thing for the y term. We know it's a perfect square, so you bring the y term down. Half of the 6 is 3, all squared. Add up this side here, and we get 225. Now, in an equation of an ellipse, we have to have the 1 here. So we're going to divide everything by 225. So 9x minus 2 squared divided by 225. 25y plus 3 squared divided by 225 and 225 divided by 225. This gives us x minus 2 squared all over 25 plus y plus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. So this right here is the standard equation of a ellipse. Now, we need to find the center and the vertices and what I call the foci and endpoints. So the center is h, k. This is my h term right here. This is my k term. So my center is 2 minus 3 because in the standard equation it's x minus h all squared, y minus k all squared. Because we have a plus 3 here, this becomes a minus 3. So these are my, this is where my center of my ellipse will be. Now, we have to know what the a term is. A nice way to know what the a squared term is for an ellipse is it is the largest term on my denominator. So 25 is bigger than 9, so my a squared term is 25. So a equals really plus or minus 5. 
my b squared term by default is the other number, which becomes plus or minus 3. So now we have to find our vertices. The vertices are, because the 25 is under the x coordinate here, I'm going to have to add and take away my a term from the x coordinate of my center, leaving my y coordinate just where it's 2. So my vertices would be, if I add 5 to 2, I would get 7 and negative 3. And the other vertice, if I say 2 minus 5, it would be minus 3 and negative 3, noting that the y coordinate does not change. The next thing we have to look for is the foci. The foci has a formula, c squared equals a squared minus b squared. We have 25 minus 9, c squared is 16, so c equals plus or minus 4. Just like the vertice, because the a squared term is under the x, we add and subtract c to the same coordinate that you did for the vertice. So my focus, and there's two of these, you would add plus or minus 4 to that same x coordinate. So that is the case, we would get 2 plus 4 is 6, negative 3, and the other focus take away would be negative 2 and minus 3. Now, in order to get a perfect ellipse, you have to have some way of making what I call the football or the rugby ball. So in order to do this, we have to find what's called an endpoint. The endpoint takes advantage of your b term. So my b squared term was 9, so b was plus or minus 3. My center, if we go back for a second, was 2, negative 3. So to find the endpoint, to be able to make our ellipse, we're going to add now to the other coordinate, the minus 3. So the 2 stays the same minus 3 plus or minus b. So the endpoints, as I would call them, would become 2, negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and the other one would be negative 3 minus 3, which is going to be negative 6. Now we have all of our points needed and all the questions being answered.